fourth grade. My name is Ms. Erickson. I am a fourth grade teacher at Jardine Elementary and today we are going to start on module one lesson five. So today we're going to be working on comparing multi-digit whole numbers and so I'm going to make just a little line and I'm not perfect. So I'm going to start off, we always start off actually on the opposite side, our right side. It's the, it's the opposite of reading is what I tell my students when we're making our place value charts. Um, and we're gonna start off by going ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands. I'm going to be writing this a lot today and we actually sing a song in my classroom where we go, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. So what we're going to do is in our place value charts is write our numbers up here that we're going to be comparing. I always like to start in my ones just so that we don't get confused um, when we start getting to these bigger numbers. So I'm going to go zero, one, zero and in my thousands place I have a three. Anytime we're in our thousands place we're always going to put a comma. So our number reads 3010. Now something you guys might say often is 3000 and 10 and you have to really make sure you don't say an and because we're not working with decimals yet. So that's our next number is 2040. So again I'm going to just start in the one so I don't miss any numbers or any spaces. So this number, we have 2,000, and that's what that comma says, 40. So when you begin comparing these numbers, we're now going to look like we're reading. We're going to go from left to right. Now, you might ask me why, but when you're looking at the place values, I know I would rather have $1,000 compared to $1. So you're always going to start in the number section that is biggest. Well, we can look here in our thousands, and we see that there's a 3, or there's a two. Well, blatantly said, this has 1,000 more than this one. So our 3,010 is going to be greater. Now, sometimes students are still getting confused as to which sign is greater, which sign is less than. Another way that I teach is that this side has two dots and two is greater than our one. So the side that you would have two dots to make your greater than sign, that's the side that's greater. We're gonna keep, again, we're gonna keep putting these into our place value chart. So I'm gonna label them just at the top. So we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands and then we would have our millions. So here again I'm going to start off with our number of 2,305. So, okay 2,305 and we're going to compare that with 2,530. So we're still going to start in the greatest category. So we're going to start over here in our thousands. Now these ones have matching thousands place values. They both have two. If that's the case, then we go over to our hundreds. And here, this number has a three in the hundreds place, and this number has a five in the hundreds place. Just because of that, we simply know that this number is going to be greater. So our 2,530 is greater. So again, I'm going to make my two dots on this side, my one dot on that side, and then I'll make my greater than sign. So then we can say 2,305 is less than 2,530. Okay, we'll try this again, but with a different number. This one starts to get bigger. Again, every single time you need to label your place value charts um, just so we know exactly where we're putting our place values and our numbers, making sure they're lining up makes it really easy. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 
10 thousands, 100 thousands. So we're going to start with this number here, which is 970, that comma says 1,461. So again, I'm going to put it in my place value. That comma always says 1,000, 0, 7, 9. Let me just check 970,461. Okay, and I'm going to come down here. Six, seven, zero, nine. Again, my thousand always has a comment, always says thousand. These numbers are very similar. They're using the same numbers, but just in a different order. And what I always tell my students is that they're trying to trick you, and that's what they're always going to try to do. Again, we're going to start at our greatest number that is shown. So we have a hundred thousands. They both have a nine in the hundred thousand place value. So so far, they're the same in the hundred thousands. So that means we're going to move over to the ten thousands. This number has seven ten thousands, where this number has zero ten thousands. I don't know about you, but I'd rather have seven ten thousand dollars more than zero ten thousand dollars. So you choose this one over this one. So that is just showing that this number is going to be greater than this one. And again, you're going to show it using the greater than sign. You could go from your left when you're checking, then go to your right. Now we're going to be comparing three different numbers. So we have all three of these and so we are going to label our charts. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000, 100,000. Still write down your place values every time because these are going to continue to help you. So I'm going to write my first number here in our place values. So I'm going to have fours in the ones place. We have a three in the tens place. We have a four in the hundreds place. Two in the thousands place and a three in the ten thousands place. My next number here, I have a four in the ones place, a four in the tens place, a six in the hundreds place, there's my comma, two in the thousands place, and three in the ten thousands place. My last and final number, I still have a four in the ones place, three in the tens place, five in the hundreds. Here's my comma for my thousands. I have two in the thousands place, and three in the ten thousands. With these numbers, I'm gonna have us go from greatest to least. Now, be very careful because sometimes in these lessons they'll have you, or like on your exit tickets, it might have you do the opposite. So always make sure you they're telling you how they want you to write down these numbers. So we're still gonna start, we have nothing in the hundred thousands column, so these would all be zeros. In our 10,000s column, all three of our numbers start, have three 10,000s, so they all have 30,000. I'm gonna move over to my thousands, and I'm still seeing that each of them have a two here. Okay, so they all have two thousands, meaning I'm gonna move over to my hundreds column. Our first number here has a four, our next number here has a six, and then our last number here has a five. So just from this hundreds column, we can then label them from greatest to least. So six is our greatest, our biggest number. So I'm going to start by writing this number first. So we have 32,644. And it's greater than, well, now we have to decide, is a five greater or is a four greater? I don't know about you, but I'd rather have $500 than 400. So the five shows us that we have, that's the next greatest number. So we have 32,534. And our last number is then our least number. So that means what this is showing here is that this number is bigger than this number, but this number is still greater than our last number of 32,434. Okay, 
The last thing we're going to do here is they're going to show it to you in word form and an expanded form. So don't let this fool you. It's still the same thing that we've been doing. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000, 100,000. Okay, and this is where this really, this place by chart is super, super important. So we're going to break this number down. So we have 400 thousands. Okay, sounds like a lot. We wouldn't know exactly where to put zeros. So I'm going to come to my place value chart. I'm going to go over to 100 thousands and I'm going to put a four. Okay, now it says we have eight thousands. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my thousands and I'm gonna put an eight. And then we have nine tens. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my tens column and put a nine. Now, that doesn't mean that we just squish those all together and make the number 489, because that's not the same. This was in the hundred thousands place value, this was in the thousands place value. So everything in between, I'm gonna put a zero for. So our new number is really 408. 1,090, and maybe you'll want to write that above it if that helps you. Okay, so now we're here and we see this number in expanded form. Okay, so this one shows 40,000. Well, 40,000, we know it's in the thousands, and this is the thousand place value. This is the 10,000, so I'm going to put my four here because it's in the four ten thousands. Now we have eight thousands, and then we have 90. Well, 90, that nine is in the tens place value, so it's going to go here. They didn't tell us anything about hundreds, ones, or hundred thousands. So this new number is 48,090. Oops, forgot my zero there, and that's why it's so important. So just by looking at these, this place value has 100,000, where this one is only in the 10,000s. If you weren't putting this in your place value chart, you might have squished those both together and thought they were just both 489. But obviously we can see here that this one with 100,000 is going to be much greater than this number that starts in the 10,000s. So this number here is going to be much greater than this number, okay? So that is how you work that problem. We're gonna do the next one just very quickly. Might take a little less time because they're not quite as expanded out. Again, place value chart. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Okay, so here the number is expanded again, so I'm going to start here, and even if you wanted to, I like to count them on here. So see, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So that means that seven's going to go in the hundred thousands place value. With it being expanded, I'm going to keep going because this is meaning it's just taking that number and drawing it out. So we're going to see where it truly lands. So again, we have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. That means our three is going to go here in our ten thousand place value. I'm not seeing, we have our ones and our tens. So that means this two is going to go in the tens column and our ones are goes in our eights column. So I didn't see anything for thousands or just our hundreds. So our new number here is 730,028. This number is already in standard form, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in our place value chart so it's easy to compare. Five, three, and seven. So when we start comparing, both have a seven in the hundred thousands, both have a three in the ten thousands, but when we get to the thousands, this number here has a five in the thousands where this one has a zero. This automatically tells us that this number is going to be greater than. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope that I will see you again tomorrow.